Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be talking about monogrammed handkerchiefs. All right, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. And if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And make sure to grab my free 47-page ebook on men's style. The link is right down there. All right, the question that came in is, Antonio, I'm trying to find a good handkerchief, one that I can monogram with my initials and be able to give out to any young lady that might happen to need one. My grandfather used to carry one in his back pocket and was very well known for having one. Where can I find these? Sincerely, Bill. All right, Bill. There are many ways to go about this. There are many places online that do sell higher-end handkerchiefs, but I can tell you for, it sounds like what you need it for, I'm going to suggest just going into a menswear store and picking up a simple pack of, you can get them in packs of three usually for less than $10. And you want to go for, a, if you can find 100% cotton, that's great. Oftentimes they're going to have some polyester mixed in, that's not too bad. But you then take as many of these as you want to a place that does monograms in your town and you simply work with them. I find that this is a less expensive, but I like actually having full control and being able to see how big the monograms, because these monogram machines, they're actually pretty pricey. And we, you know, it, it's something I, it took me a while to, to get access to one for my, uh, for my custom clothier. But the trick with the monogram machine is the cost of it actually goes up in the area that it can actually focus in on and the detail that it can do the monogram. So you're going to find that within your town, and I, you know, I think I have to, our city's uh, Wausau, it's like 60,000 people, which that's actually being pretty generous. And they've got a one place that has a great monogram machine. And the cool part here is that you aren't just limited to your initials when you take it into a, a place that specializes in monograms. You can actually put, uh, I know you mentioned that you were formerly in the Marine Corps, so you can have a little bit of fun with this and you could even, you know, make, put something on there you know, I, I wouldn't put it in EGA because then you wouldn't be able to give it to the lady unless she was a Marine, but, but you know what I'm saying. The, the point is, is that you can have a lot more fun instead of just putting your initials, you can maybe put an image or a symbol or maybe even a special message and it's going to, you know, depending on how many of these you have done, it may be actually a lot less expensive than trying to get this done online and you're going to have full control. So, uh, Another thing with the, uh, you could even consider taking these and washing them before you take them to the monogram or before you have the monogram that would ensure that they shrink a bit. Uh, that way it doesn't mess up the monogram. But speak with the place about it and it also depends on how much polyester. If it's 100% cotton, you can expect a bit of shrinkage. If it's got a more than 50% makeup of polyester, you're not going to see as much shrinkage. At the end of the day, you're going to be giving these away and proper etiquette is whenever you give this to a woman or a man, you don't ask for it back. Obviously, they've soiled it and it's theirs to keep. So, you don't want to spend, you don't want to have, spend 40 bucks on each of these and never get them back unless, unless she's that, you know, unless she's that special. <laughs> and maybe you, uh, you know, in any case, Try to spend a little bit less money. People are just going to be amazed that you happen to pull one out and that you use it in this, uh, you, that you actually thought about this. And that's probably what your grandfather was remembered for, not how nice the handkerchiefs were, were because most people nowadays, they don't even own or even carry a handkerchief. So the mere fact that you pull one out and then it's got a cool little monogram or a little image or something uh, stitched right into it, that's going to set you apart. All right. Hopefully that helped you with the question. And if you would like to learn more, make sure to go visit us at Real Men Real Style. I talk about style in tons of articles and I've got my cool, awesome new ebook out. It's got 14 hours of audio, over 600 pages, hundreds of images, and you can download that instantly over at Real Men Real Style. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.